Hi everybody, welcome to my channel, my name is Dennis. So today we're going to review a 7-in-1 USB-C hub. It gives you an extra USB-C on it as well. You'll be able to connect your Ethernet. Basically it's like a little dock for your laptop. But it has much more functionality than that. And I think you're going to like it. It was sent to me by uh, the company. Uh, I think it's DockTech is the name of the company. We'll show it to you here in a second. Uh, show you all the features it's got and how it can help you. So let's get it out of the box, see what we got, and then we'll go over all the features, and I'll show you how to use it on different devices. Here we go. Okay, so here's the product, okay, from a company called DocTech, and we're going to get it out, see what it's got. Of course, you can see 7-in-1 USB-C hub, like I said, has HDMI, micro SD, and SD, USB Type-C, here, USB 3.0, and Ethernet. But telling you what it is doesn't show you uh, all the features I got. So let's get it out of the box. So one of the nice things I always like about a product is when they actually include all their contact information in case something's going to go wrong. So not that it's going to, but they want to help you out. They got contact numbers, email addresses, everything. So when a company is offering you all that, they want you to buy their product. They want you to have a look at it. They have faith in their product. They stand by it. Good customer service. And they want you to be happy with it. So they're going to give you as much information as they can. And they even give you a little user guide. Shows you everything that's in it. They go quite in depth. But this is what we want to see. So USB-C cable, of course. Okay. Nothing surprising there. I'm going to get it out of the packaging. Well, I like the coloring. So basically it's a silverish color. Okay, Doc Tech. Okay, you can see that. It's very um, ingrained in here. You can see this. It's more uh, bold. Simple. Has an Ethernet connector on the back here. Your USB-C connector for putting it on your laptop, desktop, or whatever device you might want to use it with. And so let's go over what it has. So we have our... Ethernet on the back, like I said. Okay, so we have an Ethernet, we have a USB Type-C, we have two USB 3.0, room for an SD card up here, and a micro SD card down here. You have HDMI, which supports 4K at 60 Hertz. All right, very sturdy, nice little case. It's going to work pretty well. So here's everything you get. Like I say, comes with your email address, comes with your website, which, by the way, just so you know, because um, some people might be handy, I'll put a, uh, a link in the description as well. So it's www.doctech.com. And if you have any questions whatsoever, call them or look up their site or email them at support at .com. This product comes with 24, uh, product, 24 months of product warranty, a lifetime tech support, friendly customer service, and, of course, there's returns and replacements if you're not satisfied with the product. But, honestly, this looks pretty well made. I don't think you're going to have any issues. But, we'll find out when I uh, try it out. So, I wanted to show you the case that it came with. Um, it even has a little cover here to put your cable in. So, you put it, away, put it in there. And, everything is nicely closed. And, this would nicely fit into a pocket without any real problems. So if you need to take it around with you anywhere, very easy to do. So anyway, the more, most important part of this is let's get it, let's hook it up to a laptop to start with, and then we'll hook it up to a desktop. We'll show you a couple of different things of what it can do, and we'll go from there. Okay, so we have our USB-C hub. We have a tablet. So first thing I'm gonna do is plug it in to the tablet. All right, turns it on, which means it's being recognized. But now that we have our hub, what about if I want to charge it using this? So I have it plugged into the wall, and I'm going to connect this USB-C to the one that's on the hub, and it should power this up. And there we go, charging. 94% It's going to start charging. Now it also tells you you should use the right cable, but we all know that doesn't matter. And it's there. But, what if we want to go a little bit further? So we know we have an SD card reader, 
and a micro SD card reader. All right. So I'm going to unconnect this charging because we don't need that right now. So let's connect the SD card reader. It only goes in one way. So if you put it in the wrong way, it won't go. So you just turn it around and it's in. So now that that's in there, I'm going to turn this on one more time, open it up and go to files. And let's see if it brings up my files. Brings up our USB storage. So it is reading it. And my files are in here. All right. I have movies in here. They all show up. Now, this is where the limitation stops. Not the hub's fault. It's the device. If it needs the right Kodak in order to be able to read it. But let's go back a step. And what if you have photos? So if you have photos in here, it would, okay, I don't have any, but if it did, it's at least going to let you have access to them. So what if I want to go further? Okay, I'm going to take this out. We're going to use the smaller one, the micro SD. Okay, we're going to insert it. Now again, it only goes in one way. So if it doesn't go in, okay, it clicks in place. And if I'm looking for files again, it pops up in here showing me it's there. Click your storage. And now it's telling us the stuff that's here. So this is another one. Has movies on it. But it's empty. But it is reading the file. So you yeah, can read SD cards, micro SD cards. What about USB? Maybe we can even do that on the tablet. Let's give it a try. So we're going to take this out first simply by pushing it. And it comes out. Let's take a USB drive. Let's try that. So if I put it in, it activates because it's turning red. And let's go and see. USB storage is showing up here. And now there's only three things on here, but let's click it and see if this works. Oh, okay. Here's our folders here. So data. So everything is right here. So it's telling us that there are folders that were there for whatever, whatever it was on it before. But it can read it from your hub. Could you plug in a USB to your tablet directly? I don't know if you could. I don't think you could. I don't think there's a connection for it. But now you can use on the CUSB hub. So of course it also works with your laptop. Plug in USB-C port on it. And, okay, I'm oh, sorry. Plug in USB-C port. And then of course you've got all the devices that you had before. So you've got a couple USB 3.0 ports added. These uh, work together, by the way. The US, the um, SD and micro SD, you can use them both simultaneously. Hook up an extra monitor with the 4K, so HDMI cable up to 60 hertz, and another USB C. So, all of this will work on both laptop and desktop. So, great little rig, very easy to attach, take out, nothing to it. So, I highly recommend it. It's a great little product. Doesn't cost very much. I think it was like 40 bucks. So can't go wrong. All right, everybody. So that's the video. It's a great little device. The only thing if I had to say about it was uh, if the cable was just a little bit longer. I'd like to see it uh, be maybe, I don't know, maybe a couple feet just so it would have more reach. So if you're watching this, DocTech, extend the length of the USB-C cable just a little bit. Anyway, if you like the video, hit that like. If you don't, you know what to do. Hit that bell for future notifications to see videos as they come up. And tell me what you think. Tell me what you think of the product. If you have any questions about the product, shoot them my way. And, um, yeah, uh, pretty good product. I like it. It's handy, um, especially if you got USB. And it also works on Windows, and it works on Mac as well. So if you've got a Mac device, of course, we all know that uh, it doesn't have a lot of uh, USB or hardly anything anymore it seems uh, this will work on it so you can plug it into your mac give you added functionality so it's a big plus right there for that and of course windows devices sometimes you need a little bit extra especially on laptops so it's good for that and you saw how well it worked with the tablet so anyhow hope you like it thanks for watching see you next time